This morning, I'm honored to introduce former linebacker, uh, three-time Super Bowl champion, and head coach of the Tennessee Titans, Mike Vrabel. Coach Vrabel, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Just would like to uh, say good morning to the entire ICC team. You guys have provided great resources to our public, uh, and knowing that you're taking such great care of our neighbors in Middle Tennessee uh, certainly eases my mind. There is no job too small to help us win. Is something I try to tell our team uh, with the Titans that uh, anything that needs to be done, whatever needs to be picked up, whatever needs to be worked on, uh, we all need to be willing to do it. And I know that you all have. And, and I want to thank you guys all uh, for the work that you do uh, each and every day. So if I could just open up for our team to maybe ask a few questions of you. Talk, talk to us about that virtual draft and what was that like, uh, you know, what going it, on at your house during that? We had so many people behind the scenes that helped us set up the, the draft room that, that you see where there's four monitors and we have different computers that you're tied into different websites from the league that are scrolling through the, the clock and how that operates and the pick. And then we had our draft board that that names would move around and you could move them from the draft board over to the team and that changed on everybody's screen. And so there were so many people in IT and our, in our scouting department that made that work. It went so well that on Saturday, we were just kind of rolling with that undrafted process and working through this setting here. And the coaches were on a computer over here and the scouts were on one computer here. So that went really well. Hey, good morning, coach. Um, Got my son here. He's a huge Titans fan, so he wanted to. <laughs> Looks like he ready to strap it up. No, normally, he doesn't sit on a conference call with me, but I wanted him to be able to meet you this morning. Can you give us one or two tips, maybe about as leaders operating under pressure? We've been under a lot of pressure, as you know, the past month, and we've seen a lot of great leadership. What are your tips about operating that fourth quarter when things are tough? So I I think that as athletes and people and as leaders, I don't think there's a belief that someone rises necessarily to the occasion. Like all of a sudden that there's four minutes left in the game or there's a time crunch on a person's uh, body that we have to get something done or there's just a deadline that you have to make. You don't always suddenly just rise to the occasion. I would like to think that you fall to the level of your preparation and as prepared as we could possibly be for all different situations, that's going to allow us to handle things that come up um, in your field, in your in the medical field, uh, on the on the football field. If something happens, if we have situations that happen in the game, if we've practiced those and we've prepared for those, uh, then there's really no need to to have a certain level of panic. It's just okay. Here's what we have to go to, and that may or may not work, but we were prepared for it, and that allows us to do our job. Coach Bill, thanks so much again for for joining us this morning and um, appreciate uh, the questions that you've responded to and uh, just wish you the very best as you uh, head into the new season. So thank, thank you so much. I appreciate your, your support from St. Thomas and, and your guys' leadership and, and the work and the effort that you guys have done lately. Uh, hopefully you guys can find a few hours this weekend to enjoy the sunshine. Uh, if not, keep grinding. Keep battling uh, and know that the work you guys are doing is, is going to make somebody else uh, safer and healthier. Thank you.